The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, Jesus would seem to contradict an earlier statement of His to His disciples. This earlier statement, in this earlier statement, Jesus said to His disciples, I came that you may have life. But in today's Gospel, He is telling His disciples that whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. In thinking of it or looking at it at a second glance, it is not so much a contradiction but a paradox of Jesus. He was trying to drive home a message to his disciples so much so that if you complete the earlier statement of Jesus, I came that you may have life and have it to the full. He wishes that his disciples would have life to the full. And in today's gospel, if we would complete the statement, whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Losing one's life for the sake of Christ, having Christ as a direction, would mean living our life to the full. Would mean if we suffer with Him, die with Him, we will surely live with Him. However, this is easier said than done. Human as we are, such calling is not natural for us. We would like to preserve our lives. Self-preservation is something natural for us. And therefore, it's quite difficult for us to think, to lose our life. But Jesus is telling us, in terms of losing our life for the sake of himself, for the sake of others, for the sake of charity, for the sake of compassion, for the sake of justice. It's spending our lives with meaning, spending our lives so that others may live. It is not actually losing one's life. It is living one's life to the full. And he would go on further. What profit is there for us to gain the whole world? To spend our lives in preservation in advancing ourselves, in gaining the whole world, what profit is there for us if in the process we would lose ourselves, we would lose our dignity, we would lose the meaning of life, which is all about spending life to the full, spending our lives so that others may live. Jesus is telling us to live life to the full meaning to live our lives, spending it so that others may live, spending it with love. We are called by Jesus not so much to preserve our lives, 
but to spend it with meaning. And it could only be spent. It could only be profited to the full if we live our lives just as Jesus did. He gave us his life for our sake. We in turn, if we are to live our lives to the full, should live our lives so that others may live.